Hey, up next on the Mar Army Rock Show, uh, we've got Virginia Beach band Mag Dillon with us. Uh, their album Amethyst is due out on February 21st. I uh, found out the two of them are fellow ship rockers. One of them is a longtime friend of the show. Uh, we've got Bruce, Les, and Suzanne. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Hey, it's good to talk to you guys, and uh, it's so funny that I didn't realize we already knew each other when I started listening to your music, but um, hey, the, the new record's done. Tell us a little bit about the making of the record, how long it was, and uh, where it was recorded, and who produced. Um, so we were in New Orleans, um, and it took us, first of all, how long did it take us to actually record? Uh, it took like three days for the guitars, two days for the, the vocals, two uh, days for the bass. Like five days for drums. Yeah, it was amazing. We were at Concrete Studios, and it was so fun to be in New Orleans. And um, yeah, it was just it was fun. Then we, of course, we were down on Bourbon Street a little. <laughs> yeah, that must have been quite an adventure to to be. I guess you had to kind of control the celebrating on Bourbon Street when you're trying to record the same week, huh? Oh, good God, man! The grenade, <laughs> it's like insanity. It's like everything had more alcohol than anywhere. Yeah, well, uh, hey, I hope you guys are going to be down there again for Shiprock this year. We'll talk a little bit more about that cruise in a minute. But um, I do want to talk about, first, uh, the, new, the single that's out right now. We're going to play it tonight, Scars. Tell me more about the tune. Well, Scars um, is really written a lot about how people can sometimes be mean to other people and just kind of about rising above that. So from a lot of my personal experiences, especially when I was uh, – captain on some dance teams in the fitness world is whenever you're making decisions and whenever you're doing things, people turn around and they're catty or, you know, from when I was a kid and I was bullied and just about having some people that will literally always tell you, no, you, there's no way you can do this. There's no way. And then you turn around and you do it. You rise above it no matter what. But those things, they run deep. Now, tell me about how hard it was to pick out which tune to come out with first. Did the label make that call, or did you guys have to argue it out? <laughs> you know, there are a lot of songs on there that are, you know, deep in my heart. But, yeah, it was, it was the choice between us and the label. We kind of had to agree, because we had a couple of other songs that we wanted out first. But, you know, we went for the, I guess, algorithm. People that like, you know, Scars. Most of the people like that song over, you know, whatever, because it's the one that kicks out and everybody hears it and understands it, relates to it. So we went with that one first. Well, we were going to release the other two. Um, the second one that's coming out is going to be uh, Naked Alone in the Tub, and then the third one is Delusional. And it is re- it was so hard because they're all like our little babies. You know, you always hear people <laughs> talking about that or yep. you hear other artists talking about how they're all your babies. And it's like, oh, I love this one. But I love this one. But this one kind of sounds like this. But this one has cursing and this one has a lot of spring. <laughs> it's, it's so hard. Well, uh, hey, uh, you're sitting there with a long time, a long time friend of ours, Les, uh, who's your bass player, and uh, I'd like to hear from Les about his entry into the band and what the experience has been like. Do you want to hear that from him, or you want to hear it from us? Both. I'd, I'd, I'd actually like to hear it from both of you. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, well, I'll start saying, man, it's 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 pretty pretty wild how it all came together because I didn't actually, man, we I met Suzanne. Actually, it all goes through common chip off your friends. You know, uh, you got your Susan Arts, which uh, is Susan Martin now. I know. I got <laughs> Very good friends of all of us, though. Um, actually, I believe she brought Suzanne to a show. I think it was the Wayland show of, of all uh, gigs, man. And uh, that's where we first met, but it was brief. And being a show, you know, I'm going a million miles an hour, so... Um, Fast forward, I guess, probably a couple of years later, man, and we run into each other again at another venue and talk a little bit. And um, They need help on a gig, temp, temp thing, uh, fill-in type thing. And uh, as soon as I heard the music, man, I mean, I'm tell you, Rock, I know it's kind of been blessed to be working with some great songwriters in the past, man, but uh, I'm stoked on this one, man. Uh, it's everything, the direction I wanted music to go in, it's, it's, it's all just... It was all right there waiting for me, in my opinion. I was just supposed to be asked to do it temporarily. It's all I was looking for. Wasn't trying to come in, you know. <laughs> just, just doing what they asked. But, uh, 
first time, man. I, I, I definitely felt like it wasn't going to be the last. I'm loving it, man. All uh, right, here's the mic to them, man, because I'll go on for <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be the last time, man, because the chemistry on stage was great, man. Like, you know, I, I, I love good musicians, and from the moment he played with us, I knew, like, I was like, yeah, we have to have, we have, to have him. So, you know, that's, it kind of went from there. I just, we, you know, we just liked what we had. You know, even if it was a temp situation, I was like, ah, eh. I think we need to just grab them <laughs> while we can. You know, so that's how that went down. Yeah, so when um, I first met, I think it was like three years ago, it was with um, Susan Hart and Jennifer Conway. Oh, um, yes, and Jen, so it was, that was a really fun night. And then we hung out in November at um, a different show, and we all met, we were hanging oh. out, we took a picture. <laughs> we took a picture, and our other drummer, our old drummer, um, he was like, man, this is a pretty awesome band right here. And then, you know, like four months later, he was playing with us at All That Remains when we opened for All That Remains, and then he did the next show at All That Remains, and then um, eventually, you know, he came and joined us, and we're super, super excited. Um, it's just fun. You know you know when you meet somebody and it just you just fit and you just click and it just works and it's easy? Hey, for a band that's not really been around too, too long, since 2018, man, you've shared the stage with a lot of big names, All That Remains, Nonpoints, the list goes on and on. To what do you attribute the kind of quick success for the band? Uh, yeah, try. Try. I'm going to tell you what, we're a very like-minded band. That's what I was talking about, getting in with these guys, because they put in the work. They do the research. They, they find the connections. They, they knock down the doors. <laughs> Yeah, and a lot of times I just ask. I'll just message to the promoter or message the band. And I'll say, hey, do you guys need an opener? And then I send them our EPK or electronic press kit, and they're like, oh, yeah, done. <laughs> All right, so then you get added it here. And then it just kind of, it kind of mushrooms from there. Um, so it's, a, you know, yeah, opening, I'm trying to think of who else to open, but Drowning Pool, Saliva, of course. Um, it's just been, it's been amazing. Like, we are just really, really, really blessed. And we do, we work hard. We work on stuff. So when you're working and you're driven and you love it and you have that passion, to me, that's what, that's the best thing that I feel like you and I go down. So I know it's holiday season and a lot of times sl- shows slow down right, at na- right about now, but do you guys have any shows between now and New Year's and or any that you want to plug that are coming up? Well, I actually be up in Winchester uh, this coming Friday, uh, the 6th. With um, Rain of Z, uh, I don't have everything. I wasn't expecting that, but uh, <laughs> 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 no, it's so good. Enough, we do get to get one more run in before the year's over. Um, as far as I know, it's just gonna be one more before the end of the year. Um, What's the name of that bar? Uh, it's gonna be at, Gr- at Granny's up in Winchester, which is just practically around the mountain. <laughs> we'll say around the corner, but it's in the mountains. But it's around the mountain from a uh, blue box. Um, working with the same guys from promoting the show up there. The Big Blue Fox, uh, you know, Brandon's awesome, man. He, he, he gave us an opportunity to come up there and introduce the band to the area, so I took it. That I is can't a, wait to get these guys up there. Yeah, that's a great rock and roll area up there. I mean, we make the, it's about three hours for us, but we'll make that trip up to that area for shows because it's a great place. It's a great little town for rock and roll for sure. Um, yeah, yeah I, saw you, I saw some publicity about a possible music video. What can you leak or tell me about the music video? It's just a little snippet out there on, on, on the Internet. Do we say when it comes out? Can I just say it's that ass? <laughs> <laughs> you, can direct, you can direct people just to look at the little clip you leaked on Facebook if you like. <laughs> that's how I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's, um, the video's coming out Tuesday. And um, so I chose one of my um, really good friends from the fitness industry that's also, um, she's a competitor and she's done some mixed martial arts. Um, she is the person that we chose because our director, the guy who shot the video, Eric Giacarlo from Square Up Studios, who was absolutely amazing, he said, what about doing like a boxing theme or like a fighting theme? And I thought, you know, that is absolutely perfect for that video because it, that's what it's about. It's really about fighting through that negative energy and that negative stuff and those experiences that sometimes they can knock you down. Um, and then just kind of picking yourself up and going forward. Um, so that's what the video is about. And you'll see clips of her, some amazing, amazing clips of her in that. But yeah, that's exciting. And then our upcoming tour, I don't know if you saw that, we have an upcoming tour in January. No, tell us all about it. Oh yeah, so we're going out with Head PE. Um, and we're starting, we're kicking that off in 
South Carolina? No. no we're kicking it off in Memphis. We're kicking it off in Memphis. That's right. We're kicking it off in Memphis. And then we go down to New Orleans for our second night where we recorded the album. So that's been awesome. And then we're going to be in Georgia and in Florida. And that's going to be a really, really exciting 10 days. And we finished that tour in Greenville, South Carolina, which will become my birthday at midnight. So <laughs> I look forward to seeing you guys there. <laughs> So what, what I also want to know about, you keep mentioning New Orleans, and, uh, you know, Shiprock's just around the corner now. Are you guys going to be back on the boat this year? We are, and, yeah, we can't, but that tour finishes, I think, the day the Shiprock goes out. I was afraid well, that was going to be the answer. They throw us on the boat. <laughs> they throw us on the boat. We'll be going. <laughs> yeah, that's good work if you can get it right there. <laughs> yeah. So, as fellowship rockers, though, I was like to ask, especially musicians, what's your favorite? What's your guys' favorite individual memories of ship rock? If you can, I could never peg one, but think of that one that just jumps in your brain right away. An individual? Yeah. Memory? Oh God! All the free ice cream around. <laughs> <laughs> About the food. <laughs> Oh, Lord of mercy. That's great. I mean, I would get up in the middle of the night and be like, ice cream! <laughs> I'll tell you, one of my favorite moments on Ship Rock was the first year I was on, and Five Finger Death Punch was on. Oh, yeah. And I was talking to um, Jason Hook and Darren and Spencer were walking away, and I looked over and I'm like, why don't you guys play back for more? And Jason Hook turns around and goes, by rat? <laughs> <laughs> and then Jared and Thunder goes, I was like, no, I'm too old for that. So that was literally one of my most favorite moments on Ship Rock because that was funny. I still have to make one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. have to make one. Well, we'll definitely uh, miss you. <laughs> Yeah, we'll miss you guys on the boat, but you're missing it for a really good reason to go out on tour, man. So that that's a, I'm I'm happy for to hear that for you guys. So um hey, um one last thing. I've, I've never asked a band this question before. I'm kinda of putting you on the spot here about this. So but it's it's holiday season. I'm playing a couple holiday songs tonight. If you guys were gonna cover a holiday song, would you be able to tell me which one you think would be ideal for your band? Silent night. Ooh. I would do silent night. Which one would you do? If you could only see my face right now. Because <laughs> we were talking about that. And we were like, man, what kind of song would we cover? Less which one would you, which one are you singing? I don't know. I've, I've never even thought about that. I would want to do probably Rockin' Around the Fifth Tree. There you go. So, see, there, there's interest. People want to know, you know. <laughs> Maybe you guys got you all together yeah, today. Yeah, my mother loved that song. I hate all of those. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the original artist, just saying. <laughs> I know. It wouldn't be the Grinch because we all know our brothers in small town Texas did a hell of a job on that one. Boys, you're time to I think we could do some serious stuff with either one of those. I think we could pull something off. <laughs> I think we got to get the world torn in now. I think, yeah, I know the world is getting. 23 days, 24 days till we can do it. It's so cool you mentioned the boys in Small Town Titans because we actually, uh, that song's on our playlist tonight. So we're going to be playing that one tonight, mixing it in there. That is a cool one from them, the, the Grinch theme from our boys in Small Town Titans. So, um, uh, right on. Hey, well, um, where's the best place for people to go to get your music, to learn about it and all that? Where do you want to direct people to learn more about Mag Dillon? Spotify. Spotify, there we go. And uh, Yeah, you can go to Spotify or iTunes or anywhere. We have all those links on there, and they can find our music anywhere. The coolest part, I think, about iTunes is that you can actually play a sample of the songs that aren't released yet. And it's like a minute-long sample. If you look, if you go to pre-order the album on iTunes, it shows you a track list, and you can actually play like a minute of each song. Yeah, I mean, that's a rare thing. I don't think they used to do it that way on a pre-order, and I noticed that today when I was uh, researching you guys. So go over to iTunes now. You can pre-order the album. You can pick up uh, the first single right now that's out there, Scars, and uh, it'll be coming out just uh, just around the corner, February 21st. So, uh, hey, Mag Dillon's been here. We've got Bruce, Les, and Suzanne. Uh, it's been great having you guys on the show. We're going to play um, your new single tonight. I'm proud to let you guys know it made it into our Golden Dozen music chart this week, so we'll see how long it stays on air, and uh, great talking to y'all. Yay, thank you. Thank you. Talking to you.